Welcome back to Empower In. I'm Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Empower In. So I have a bit of request from Panda Hero who said, do a video on medication error prevention. Well, okay, Panda Hero, I will. So when I went to nursing school, that was one of my greatest fears was to um, actually do a, a medication error. And to be honest with you, not a lot has changed because you know, as a nurse, we have the potential to every day make mistakes that could change people's lives dramatically. So it is and always will be a very big um, issue that nurses will deal with. But um, thankfully, I feel like since I started um, becoming a nurse and there was paper charting and now that I'm a nurse and there's computer charting and things like that, I think that there are a lot more safety nets and um, things that help nurses along the way. Technology has definitely helped us a lot. So when I went to nursing school, it was basically a focus on the five rights to medication administration. And they were the right medication, the right dose, the right time, the right route, and the right patient. Now since then, it has expanded and the most I could find was the 10 rights to medication administration. And these additional ones are the right education, or the right patient education, the right documentation, the right to refuse, the right assessment, and the right evaluation. When I, whenever I'm giving a medication and whenever I have something that I have to think about um, before I'm doing it, I try to create what I call kind of like triggers in my mind. And so one of the things that I do and I do to this day um, is, and I've been doing it for years, is whenever my hand starts to touch the scanner, which is what we scan our medications with and then we scan our patient with, is I go through a series of things and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you those things and it's kind of an addition to the medication administration rights and I think it'll help you out a lot. So what I do is when my hand hits the scanner, I am kind of triggered to remember that I need to check my patient's vital signs. Because no matter what, it always helps me know what my last set of vital signs were. Because sometimes um, a nursing assistant can get vital signs yet tell you or forget to tell you um, that a blood pressure was really high or a heart it was really low or something like that. So it's just a good way to always stay on top of your vital signs. And so when I touch the scanner, I start looking at the vital signs. And I make sure that everything is okay for all of the medications that are to be administered. After I look at the vital signs, I look at the medications and I see if there's any lab results that I need to be careful with before I administer this medication. If so, I just take a quick look and I look at my patient's last set of labs. After I look at the patient's labs, then I look, take a quick look at my report sheet and I see what their admitting diagnosis was and their plan. Now, most medication errors that I have seen have not really technically been errors, so to speak, but um, as far as the 10 rights or the five rights are concerned, but they've been errors as, as of appropriateness. A lot of times what you'll see is patients that may have been given blood thinners, but you know were, had a planned, a planned procedure. And usually it's very obvious when there's a planned procedure, and, but sometimes there's a breakdown in communication and maybe a doctor won't enter the order appropriately or they won't tell the nurses or there's a lot of things that kind of kind of go wrong when you have so many people under you know one roof and not everyone's following the rules as as they're supposed to so a lot of times what i've seen is you know i'll get a call at you know 7 30 or 8 o'clock in the morning and they're like oh we're here to take your patient for the procedure and sometimes the doctors will go in and they'll talk to the patient, the patient will agree to a procedure, the doctor will call the appropriate place for the procedure and schedule the procedure, but sometimes, and sometimes they'll even dictate a note, but sometimes it takes a while for that note to be transcribed and available for us to see. And what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to enter an order, but maybe sometimes they've forgotten to do this, and maybe that patient had a six o'clock in the morning Lovenox that was ordered. So that's when a medi med medication order or error that I see. And even though it's not technically an error on the nurse's end, it still is kind of considered or what I would consider a med error because that kind of delays treatment for, proper treatment for the patient. Now, what I really like about computer documentation 
is that the five rights are actually already right there because when you scan the medication, it'll actually flag if it's the wrong dose or the wrong medication. Many times when you scan it, it'll just it'll say right away, medication is for a different patient. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, that is the wrong medication. A lot of, or not a lot of times, but sometimes the wrong medication is accidentally placed or bumped into another little cubby from the Pixis. The right dose is another thing that will also flag once you scan the medication. And keep in mind when you're scanning, it's also really important to look at the medication yourself. The right time is important too, and that'll also be helped with the computer system. And the right route it, and the right education. Now, I don't know how it is in your system, but a lot of systems, what happens is when you scan the medication, a screen will pop up and it'll say what the medication is, what the indications are, why the, why the medication is usually ordered, and what the possible side effects are. So right there, you have information that you, know, you need to educate your patient with. It makes it so much easier. Now, many times you'll have a lot of patients that have a lot of medications. It's not necessary that you educate on all of the medications, but what you want to try to do is find out which medications are new for the patient. It could be very obvious. Maybe it's a brand new medication that you reviewed the order and it, you know it's new for the patient. So if that's the case, then I would want to spend my time on educating the patient on that medication. And if I did indeed review the order, then it's really good to also have a printout for the patient and that way you can provide them with additional information. Now one thing that's really important is when you have already scanned all of the medications um, and you're about to scan the patient, it's really important that you also look at the armband. Because is it possible that the armband was placed on the wrong patient? Or you know, you need to look at the armband and ask the patient two identifiers and just have them state their name and their date of birth, which are easy to find in the armband. Another thing that I want to share with you is that if you do happen to make a medication error, you know, it's something that a lot of nurses do and it's something that's really easy to do, but um, it's really important that you do grab one patient's medication at a time and you want to have a very, very clean working area. So if you do push a little um, computer, which we call a, a WOW or a, a or cow, sorry, a computer on wheels, then always keep your surface very clean and only take out your patient's medications and then that's it. And, gen and then just create little piles for yourself. So these are the scanned, unscanned and things like that and only have those patient's medications up there. What I also like about this 10 rights to medication administration thing, which I'm going to put the link below, is that it has something that I've never seen before and maybe it's just new to me, but it also says the right to refuse which is very, very, very important. Patients need to know they have the right to refuse anything and everything that they want. Now, me personally, if a patient refuses a medication, I will notify the doctor and I will notify, and I will write a note saying that I notified the doctor. Because I think it's really important that the, the doctor does know which medications that the patient's not taking. Now, it's very easy for the doctor to look up this information, but a lot of them don't because they kind of just rely on us to do it. And anyways, ultimately, just want our patients to be taken care of as best as possible. And it's just one little thing that I can do to help ensure that that happens. Another thing that I like about this list is that it says the right assessment. Now, it's really important to assess the effectiveness of the medication. Did you give the patient a blood pressure medication and was their blood pressure elevated? So it's really important for ongoing monitoring because you want to make sure that the patient, first of all, doesn't have a severe reaction and second of all, gets the therapeutic result that, that is intended from this medication. One other thing that I wanted to add was if you do happen to make a mistake, just take this as a learning opportunity. I mean, there's so many thousands of medications that we give in the hospital and there's so many like so many things that could possibly go wrong, especially when everybody doesn't communicate effectively. So if you do make a mistake, then just try to look at this as a learning experience. Um, in, my, in my second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your First Nursing Job, it was really important for me to put the mistakes that I had made in the book because I really wanted to open communication with you guys and let you know that you're super normal for any mistakes that you make. I've seen so many mistakes um, in all different types of things 
um, having been made, and you know, I've been a nurse for six years, that's a lot of time to make personal errors and it's a lot of time to see different errors. So just keep on going, you're a normal person and normal people make mistakes. So if you do happen to make a medication error, just try to learn from it and don't take it personally. Okay guys, I really hope that you found this to be super helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to hear from you again in the future. Bye!